Good morning, guys. It is 11.40 a.m. And it does look like it's going to rain a little bit outside. Hoping that it doesn't because I personally don't like working in the rain. But I did just get a $8.05 sandwich action on Uber Eats. And the reason, you can see it is 11.41. The reason I came out later was because I did not have a schedule today. And I was sitting at home waiting for the map to turn pink or a schedule to come up for me to come outside. Because I didn't want to drive all the way to the plaza and then sit here waiting because if you think about it right it's 40 minutes into the shift uh, technically if I would have came out at 11 I didn't feel like waiting that long so I came out a little bit later but we got our first order of the day also we're gonna be doing uh, $1 for every order we do is gonna be invested into cryptocurrency uh, yesterday we did a, we put in a lot of money and then overnight the market crashed like 15 or 17 percent uh, so the market is gonna continue to go down but what we're gonna do is we're going to average down right so what that means is let's say you bought it a let, let's make it easy hundred dollars and then the price goes down to 90 you average down to that $90, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's okay if the market is crashing because it will go back up. And I personally don't believe it's a scam, but I can understand why I'm getting a lot of comments saying it's a scam. In my personal opinion, it's not. I'm gonna go pick up sandwich action and donate $1 into crypto. Let's go. First order of the day complete. I am still getting kind of nervous about DoorDash because I'm thinking I might have to actually go for top dasher status because it's just like not not just my region right not just where I work in Seminole the St. Pete region but the Largo Tampa Brandonton pretty much my entire state now is just gray the map is always gray and every time I try to extend the dash I can't because there's never any openings. So I'm gonna hope that I can extend. I'm good till 1230, which gives me another 30 minutes to try to get back to the plaza and hope we can get another order. Yes, sir, I was extending my dash. I got it all the way to 7 p.m. And while I was doing that, I got a $7.99 order on Uber Eats now with some chicken action going about 3.2 miles. Let's go. Now the dining room closes at nine. Excuse me. All right, put it in the hot bag, even though it's weird because they put the salad. Normally, they don't put the salad in with the hot food because the salad's, you know, a cold item. But this time, they put it all in one bag, so that's their fault. That ain't my fault. Hello. Hi. Here we go. No problem, you have a great day. Yep, you too. All right, guys, we got some deja vu action. Again, I was pulling into the plaza, and I'm going to be leaving because I got another chicken action. This time it's for my boy, Philip. He actually did order drinks, which is a, li a little sad, Philip. I'm a little sad about that, but it's a $6.71, 2.7 mile order. I'm going to go ahead and take it, man. This is going to be the third order of the day already, and that's going to be $3 invested into my crypto wallet. Let's go. Philip, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even park in a parking spot. I parked on the grass, bro, because I'm a big baller. Yes, sir. That is three orders completed, guys. That is $3 invested into my cryptocurrency wallets. I'm getting so many comments about it, man. Like, yo, why are you doing this? Yo, it's a scam. Yo, invest in stocks. Hey, man, if y'all want to do that, be my guest. I'm all for everyone's opinion. I, I'm all for if you would rather invest into the stock market, I believe the stock market is completely rigged because it is. Nancy Pelosi even came out and said in a statement saying she is not going to stop members of Congress and I think it was just members of Congress, members of the House, whatever. People, people in positions of power right she is not going to stop them from insider trading so how can you invest in the stock market knowing that it's completely rigged like that cryptocurrency while yes a lot of the crypto well not even i, I don't need, i don't think a single company owns one percent of all of the crypto that exists or not all the crypto but all of the bitcoin that exists it, it's just my personal opinion anyway it is 12 38 p.m we did three orders so far in our first hour which is not bad at all i'm actually doing pretty good i i I'm happy, I, I, and I also did read the comments. 
read the comments on the last video other people are finding success too which is good you because you don't want to be doing like listen you guys do not want to be doing this job if you're not making enough money right i know it's a great job i know you're an independent contractor and you make your own hours but sometimes you need to work for someone else uh to try to get to that next level of owning your own business instead of being an independent contractor on someone else's business uh but i'm on the way back to the plaza now hopefully we can get another order in uber eats has been on fire for me today so far yo how is this 3.4 miles i got a dunkin donuts i hate dunkin donuts i i got i got an eight dollar 29 cent 3.4 mile but like like, hold on, let me accept it. I also got a chicken salad chick order. Come on, give me a second, give me a second. Let's see what this chicken salad chick action is. 950, whoa, 950 for 8.9 miles. I guess we're going to Dunkin' Donuts. Let's go. I'm picking up a Grubhub for Nelly. And this is a prime example of why I hate Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, dude, we got Pedro. Man, what's up, Pedro? We got Pedro helping us, man. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off because this could probably take a while because it takes a long time. So I'll be back and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I talked to my boy Pedro and he said that he resent the order and to contact them back in five minutes if they still don't have it. Thank you for chatting. Oh, he wants me to rate him, bro. Okay. Uh, let's go back then. It's, I should be arrived. Yeah, I am here. So I'll go back inside now. We'll see if they resent it. Yeah, we still don't have the order. Man, stop playing with me. What? Okay, well, I'm done wasting my time with this garbage. Grubhub sucks. Dunkin' Donuts sucks. There's a problem. I can't deliver this order. And now it's my fault. Now it's my fault because I'm not going to sit there and wait five minutes to go back in there and see if they have the order. So okay on to the next order waste of time great all right this makes me feel a little better i was on the way back to the plaza from the stupid dunkin donuts and i got a chicken action eight dollars and 25 cents 4.5 miles seven items kind of nervous about the seven items because there could be a lot of drinks and it's only one milkshake yes sir sabrina that's a cool way to spell it got some wee woo wee woo action wonder what they doing there they don't even have their lights on they might be doing something with the oh they're getting some firewood is that what they're doing man i see them in the rear view mirror man what they doing with that firewood all right well there it is our first doordash order of the day is completed it did end up being eight dollars and 25 cents but i'm just happy we were able to get another order right after going through the whole duncan dilemma i just really hate duncan donuts man they should be out of business starbucks is way better yes sir back to the plaza oh it's 127 as well where am i hold on now I forgot where I am. I think I go this way. But uh, it's 127 right now. Hopefully I can knock out at least one more order. I, I'm getting an order. Hold on, hold on. Yes, $2 for 3.7 mile Wendy's. Just what I want to see. Anyways, one more order. Hopefully we can get it within the next 30 minutes. It's kind of annoying that the only orders that I do get are Chick-fil-A, but it's a $7, I mean a $6.75, 3.2 mile order. The worst part about it is the fact that I'm in the turning lane. So I have to go all the way into the plaza and then go out of the plaza again and wait at another light just to get to the Chick-fil-A. But at least by the time all that occurs, the order should be ready. Well, never mind, I got a $10.09 four mile Miller's Ale House. I'd rather take this because I'm already at the Miller's. It's worth more money and I think it's actually less miles too. This is literally the trifecta, let's go. What is good, you guys? I just dropped off the last Miller's order. That marks order number five completed of the day, which isn't really that much considering. I think we did a lot better Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, I did start a little late. Of course, there's a cop right there, but it is 1.53 p.m., so I'm going to stop by and get myself some lunch right now. i got to put the camera down real quick, too. There we go. I passed him, but it is uh, 1.54. I'm going to stop by and get myself some lunch. I have to use the bathroom as well, so I might stop by at, like, Taco Bell, use the bathroom, dip out, and then probably go to Wendy's and get myself a nice chicken sandwich. I haven't had the Taco Bell Power Bowl in a minute. I'm not really feeling it no more, man. After you eat like a Chipotle bowl, you kind of don't want to go back to the, uh, I could actually, I could actually go to Chipotle, man. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, is that another cop? It was another police officer, dude. That's two popos that I've seen on this same stretch of road. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down, man. I'm gonna pass by Chipotle. Hopefully they're not busy. Get myself a nice little little burrito bowl, man. Yes, sir. With all this money that I'm investing in a few years, I'm gonna be able to get a lot of a lot of bu burrito bowls. You know what I'm saying? There it is, man. This is the meal of not only a DoorDash driver, but also a crypto investor. We got some corn. We got some sour cream, some mild sauce. We got some brown rice, some pinto bean, and some chicken. I am going to eat, bro. See y'all soon. Oh, man, guys. You cannot go wrong with Chipotle, man. You can't. You can't, man. It's fresh food, man. It's fresh vegetables. Get that corn action, man. If you want, you get some of that cheese action. You can get some lettuce action, man. You got steak. They got chicken. You can't go wrong with Chipotle. A little pricey, but we are young crypto investors now, so we can afford it. <laughs> Anyways. Man, that was good, man. I could go for another one, even though I didn't finish this one. But I did finish all the chicken. There's two things I always finish. Stop. It sounds like I'm farting. There's two things I always finish. The chicken... And the sour cream, it's really good. Anyways, <clears throat> so today I actually have a topic to talk about. This isn't exactly a new thing, but I was finally able to get a screenshot from I think George on my Discord uh, so we can actually see in depth truly what this update is about. So it says more cash when you dash. Who wouldn't want more money when dashing, right? I've been talking about it all along. Yes. So it says, George. Oh, yeah, it was George. Okay, so it was George that sent it to me. George. You know what? Let's switch it up. Moosh. Yes, sir. We're offering a new type of reward reward to select dashers. So not ain't, ain't everybody going to get this. It's only some people. You know, you get it. You get it. You you don't get it. <laughs> okay. Um, it says... <laughs> Bro, that Chipotle was good. Okay, alright, I'm gonna stop playing, I'm gonna stop playing. Introducing streak rewards. Over the next few weeks, check your inbox for a new way to get some extra cash. It's simple, just keep dashing to keep earning. This weekend, if you dash three days in a row, 121 to 123, will add $30 to your account. There's no threshold, no exceptions, and no catch. Just a new way to reward your commitment to dashing. So, I think this is probably mainly going to be given to people who uh, there's not enough dashers in their markets. Like, this would not ever be available in my market. My market's so saturated. I've only done five orders for lunch, even though I started at 11.30. But even if I would have started earlier, I still wouldn't have gotten any orders because the map was all gray. Anyways, so this is probably something to incentivize people either in slow markets that don't really have that many orders or maybe there's a lot of drivers that quit in a certain market and they're just trying to get people on the road and delivering the good thing about this is what i will say the good thing is is there's no the the part where, there, where there's no catch you don't have to sit there and deliver five orders uh, like you know one of those uh, like in my market man when we had the challenges y'all remember that that's a that's that's history now <laughs> that's gonna be in the history books for kids in my market the challenges were something like do 10 orders for 10 extra dollars which wasn't worth it at all because i multi out with uber eats and grubhub but this it's just like all you gotta do is hop online it seems like what like so what 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 if right what if you hopped online and then just went offline right because the only thing you would have to do is just go online, right? It says if you dash three days in a row, though. So what What if you... I'm just saying, though. What if, like, you hopped on, did one dash a day, and that's it? You would get an extra $30 for three days of work for basically nothing. That's not, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's actually something really cool. If only it was in every market, that would make it a little better, not just certain markets. But, hey, you know what? Let me know down below if this is in your market. And if it is, let me know if DoorDash actually has paid out. Because a lot of times when uh, these gig economy 
jobs or companies, whatever, a lot of times when they give you these incentives, they don't pay out. And then you have to sit there and call support and deal with emails and stuff like that. And then they're like, oh, that was a mistake. Uh, a lot of times they don't pay out, which I don't know how that's even legal, bro. But <laughs> so let me know down in the comments if it is in your market. If it isn't in your market, then your market is oversaturated and you have enough drivers and they don't need to pay you nothing. Just like my market. Welcome to the club. Hey, man, we got some Millie Willy action. $7, not even a mile. Carl, bro, man, we, we, man, he got the Zingers mac and cheese, bro. How you gonna get the Zingers mac and cheese, Carl? We're gonna go ahead and pick this order up for Carl. I guarantee you someone in my market will look at this order and say... <sighs> Mmm, two dollars and fifty cents for only a mile. Yes, sir. That's two dollars a mile. Man, if it was not for Uber Eats today, I probably would have went home. <laughs> in all honesty, if Uber Eats was gonna be slow today, along with DoorDash being slow, Grubhub is always slow. Grubhub, you cannot ever get more than like one or two orders a day. But if Uber Eats was slow. Oh, I, I probably, oh, I, I totally forgot to mention, I, should, I was going to mention this at the beginning of the video. I was actually going to make an eBay video today. Now I know, I know, I know it's a DoorDash channel. Well, no, it's not really a DoorDash channel, but uh, I was going to make an eBay video. I ordered a strap backpack on eBay and it was supposed to be here on Thursday. Well, today's Friday and I still don't have it. It says that it's delayed. It's literally been at the same post office for the past three days getting scanned at the same post office. Man, we got some $9.5, five sec, I mean, five cent, 2.4 mile green market cafe action. I'm gonna take that. Like I said, man, if it wasn't for Uber Eats, I would've went home. But uh, yeah, I ordered that freaking crap, man. And uh, stupid USPS sucks. All my homies hate USPS, man. This was AM or PM? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm picking up for Paige. Paige, thank you for your patience. Yes. Thank you. Enjoy your Friday. Thank you too. I have to walk by those girls with a wedgie. Hey man, what's the problem over here? What you pull my man over for? He ain't do nothing. And why did my man stop on the road? Why didn't he just pull into the Dunkin' Donuts? Man, my man's going to jail now. Uber to the rescue again. We just got some Chipotle action. $6 or $6.99 for two point something miles. It's just been so bad today. I actually did the calculations as I was sitting here and I think I'm only at $57 so far and it is 3.10 p.m. Normally, well, I don't know if that's really... I don't know if that's really too bad or not because I don't ever really do the calculations anymore around this time. Usually I always wait till it's like closer to 5 p.m. But I just feel like today's been going really slow because I've only done six orders on Uber Eats and then one order on DoorDash. That's it. Seven orders in 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, but we did start late. So let's say three and a half hours. Right? No, no, no. Let's, let's say 11 30, 12 31, 32, 33. It's 3 10, so almost four hours to make $57. It's not good enough, man. Not good enough at all. Let's go make another $6.99, though. I totally forgot until I dropped off the last order to mention this to you guys, but I got a, a promotion on Uber Eats. If I do five rides, I can make $40. Now, I, I don't, personally, I know there's people out there that don't mind driving other people, but I kind of do mind because people are, I, how do I put it nicely? People can be ignorant, right? And I don't want to have someone come in my car and pick their boogers and leave it on my seat and cough and sneeze in my car and, uh, you, you know, like poke holes in my seats or something. I don't want that. You know, this is a very nice car. You know, I mean, it's, it's basically still brand new. I mean, kind of, not really. I've been putting a lot of miles on it, but it's still a 2021 Toyota Corolla. I don't really want people coming in here and disrespecting my car you know disrespecting me as well so i probably will never ever ever do ride share like uber eats and doordash would have to go completely offline for like a month for me to even consider driving people but then again if, if that ever happened then everybody would be doing ride share then i just it's not for me i know i did it that one time if you watched a previous vlog 
where I drove uh, those like three, I think it was three or four people to the nightclub or the bar or something when I was dropping off that Chick-fil-A order. That was the only time and they gave me $20 for that. I don't think you make $20 per ride doing rideshare on Uber Eats. Man, finally, today is just such a struggle, man. We got a burrito action, $6.50, 2.3 miles. I think this is only going to be our ninth order completed today so far. I, this is, I mean, no one ever orders Blackberry Izzy's, man. Nah, that, 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 that's how you know today is weird. It is already 3.50 p.m., so not a chance I'm going to knock it out by 4. Hopefully, dinner picks up a little bit. Yesterday was good because we had a lot of double orders and they were like 16, 17, 18 dollar double orders. Today, I can barely get a single order in today. Plus, go get this burrito action. Bradley. Ooh, thank you. There it is. While I was inside of the Chipotle, I got some Applebee's action for an $8 for two point something miles, but it is on the way to the DoorDash order. They're both going to the same direction, so I'm going to take both of these. Thank goodness, man. I needed this. Hello. Do you guys have cup holders? Did somebody ask you? Yeah, there was a guy. I don't know. I think it'd kind of be easier now without it. <laughs> Okay, that was uh, strange. That cup holder was definitely strange. I'm not using that. There's no way. It's harder to use the cup holder than it is just to carry both cups by themselves. Yes, sir. That is the first order dropped off. I just got a beach pizza action too. I rarely ever pick up from there. Usually their orders are always pretty bad. But now I am on the way to the Uber Eats customer. And I, I calculated this to perfection, right? Look at this, 550 for 6.2 miles. I, I just, I don't pick up from there, dude. Anyways, I calculated this to perfection. I passed by the Uber Eats customer to go to the DoorDash customer first. Why? Even though the DoorDash customer lived farther away. That is because if I would have went to the Uber Eats customer, I would have then had to U-turn to get to this customer. And it's just not good, bro. It's just not good. Look at this. Easy peasy. I think I've become accustomed to taking these types of orders now. It's a $9.25, 5.6 mile, nine item chicken action. Let's go ahead and see what this Grubhub action talking about. It's actually going down there where I am going, but it's an order and pay for $13. I can't be bothered with that. Um, okay, so let's see what we got here. Shelly. Uh, we got, oh, here we go. Here we go. One Diet Dr. Pepper large. One Coca-Cola large. Four apple juices. A lemonade? Are you joking me? It's all drinks. We got some Taco Bell, 6.52 for 1.6. What should I do? One, two, three drinks. Okay, so the DoorDash is more money, but this one is a lot closer for 6.50. Honestly, I think I'm going to do the. I might do the Taco Bell instead, right? Because this one, I mean, it's a bunch of drinks and cookies. There's no food here. Yeah, so this is going to be $9.25. There's no way this is a hidden tip. At least this one's only a mile away and I'm getting $6.50, which is $3 less than what I would make driving 5.6 miles. Yeah, 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 we're going to Taco Bell, let's go. Hi, Hello, uh, for Jake. You are good to go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, man, Grubhub's trying to get in on some action. $7.10 for 1.5 miles. I will take that because I am pretty close to the Uber Eats drop-off. I'm only 0.5 miles away. So we'll drop this off, go back to Taco Bell, and get another $7. Yes, sir. Hey, man, what you doing? Man, get off your phone, bro. Man, I'm about to go, man, I'm about to go around this person. It's an old babushka. Man, what's this babushka doing on her phone while driving, man? You already ain't got the best reflexes. You ain't like young moosh over here. I could drive with no hands. Look, ma, no hands. And no, oh, darling, I do not do that. I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying no more. Let's go back to Taco Bell. Hello, I'm picking up for Jonathan. All right, this is a much better order. We got some more chicken action. $6.50, 1.4 miles. You guys did not see, but off camera, I was contemplating taking a $6.75, 5.3 mile tropical smoothie. And the only reason I was contemplating it was because it was eight items. But still, the mileage to the money that was shown, usually something of that mileage uh, would show up as like $7.50 or even $8.50. And I didn't trust that there was a hidden tip on that, so. 
25 cents less. We're gonna go 1.4 miles. Let's go. Yes, sir. We declined that high mileage garbage and look at that six dollars and fifty cents turned to seven dollars and ninety three cents. That is big baller and it's big baller because it was only it was actually less than a mile away from the plaza. I'm pretty much already back at the plaza ready to accept another order, which hopefully we can get man. It has picked up. It has picked up. Let's get this money. Mm. Let's get this money. All right, guys, I'm going to have to take a chance on this. If you remember, this was a pretty long while back. I took an order from the Hibachi on DoorDash, and what ended up happening was uh, they gave me the order, and then I went to deliver it to the customer. And then while I was delivering it to the customer, as I was coming up to the customer's house, uh, they called me and said, hey, you forgot the sushi when they never handed me any sushi they handed me one bag and said thank you have a good day so ever since then don't worry about that that was a wendy's uh so ever since then i have never been back to the hibachi but this is a ten dollar and fifteen cent order seven items for 3.4 miles i'm gonna hope that uh the same workers that were there that day are gone by now they should be i'm gonna wear a hat though look burger king man it's all garbage orders i'm gonna wear my hat I'm probably not going to wear the GoPro though just because I don't want them to recognize me. So, yeah, let's let's uh let's see how this works. Okie dokie, guys. That was not bad at all. It was actually a different girl in there that I've never seen before. So, it was a very easy pickup. The order was actually ready when I got there. Also, look at this. Boom, we got some burrito action for Evie. I picked it up, it was an additional 1.2 miles for an extra $6.50. So now we have to go back into the plaza and I have to hurry up because the light might just turn green. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, that was weird. As soon as I clicked to go to the next order because I just dropped off the last one to Robert, I got a message on Uber Eats saying, hey, Moosh, Thank you for delivering dinner tonight. I was like, what? <laughs> so I just put my pleasure. It is my pleasure, man. Y'all paying me for a service. Now, you guys aren't the best tippers because I wouldn't have taken this order had I not had beautiful Robert's order, but it is what it is. I'm going to go drop it off now and make another $6.50. Hey, Pizza Man's here too. That's funny. Hello, pizza man. Man, these people ordering everything, bro. They even ordered a pizza. Hold on, man. I'm, I'll make a U-turn and I'll show you guys. Oh, but these guys are going to slow me down, man. These old fo- Oh, no, they're not. They're not. Okay. Let me go ahead. Let me U-turn. I'm going to show you guys. They ordered a pizza and they ordered uh, the burrito action. So let's see this. Let's see this. Yo, how funny would it be, though, if I waited for him and I asked him, bro, how much did they tip you to see if they tipped the pizza man less or more money than they tipped me? You can see they ordered Papa John's as well. That's so funny, dude. I wonder, dude, I'm so curious. Did he get a bigger or a smaller tip than I did? Well, here we go. It happened again. The Taco Bell is all the way down there and uh, I am in the turning lane to the plaza. It seems to always happen, but a $7.28 1.9 mile order kind of don't want to take it because I kind of struggle past 6 p.m. with Taco Bell, but we'll take a chance. It's good money to miles. Let's go. Ooh, thank you. All we got to do is drop this off. This is probably going to be the last order of the night because it's 6 14 p.m. And yesterday I stayed out pretty late because I was dropped off food for my girlfriend. I didn't get home till pretty late. And then the video was also 35 minutes long. So it took me till almost 1 a.m. till I finished uploading the video. So I definitely don't want to do that again. Here we are. I'm sorry. I usually go and change the tip and I didn't. So oh. I'm giving you this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Have, have a great night. night. Guys, guys, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. She gave me $15. And what was it on the app? It was like $7 on the app. We got $15 in cash. We got $15 in cash. Oh my God. Get my seatbelt on, get my seatbelt on, get my seatbelt on. Okay, I, I know, I know. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dude, I am so out of here, dude. I'm done for the night. I'm done for the night at 6.20 p.m. I'm done for the night, bro. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. It was like, it was... <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, that is insane, dude. What a legend that woman is. That woman is the my number one customer, bro, of this year so far. Dude, I literally, my cheeks hurt from smiling. I cannot believe that, dude. Holy crap, dude, we gotta get back to the plaza. We gotta get back to the plaza. Holy crap, dude, I am like shaking, dude. $15 cash tip on top of what we got the app, bro. We are investing in crypto. We are going to invest it in crypto, man. Which way should I go? Which way should I go? Um, Let me go this way, let me go this way. Go this way, go this way, this way. Oh my gosh, guys, I got back to the plaza. I am so freaking thankful for that last woman. You guys have no idea. I still even have the money just sitting out here. Like, I can't believe. Like it wasn't a big order. I, I, if I would have, I didn't even see the 10. I just saw the ones. And then when I got back to the car, I'm looking at the 10 like, well, hold on. This is, she didn't order a lot of food, a $15 cash. T oh my gosh, man. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, we gotta relax. We gotta relax because it is that time. It is 6.25 p.m. We are gonna be ending the night and we're gonna be ending with $139.31 all thanks to that beautiful woman, man. Oh, dude, that's so, like, it was It was a crappy day and, like, I, like, I, I like, when do I ever get to end it happy, bro? I finally get to end my night happy. Anyways, now I have to see how many orders I did today so we can invest money into ourselves into my cryptocurrency wallet so let's see how many orders we did and there it is guys today we did 16 trips now one thing that I've learned from actually investing and keeping track of how many orders I do is that on average every day I do about 15 trips I don't know how it's gonna be on the weekend but so far for the first three days on average we've done 15 trips today we did 16 so you know what that means that means we have to open up coinbase and invest 16 dollars now what's really good about this is solana has been crashing it's up to 113 which kind of sucks i wish it was down to 110 like it was before but here we go we're gonna go ahead and click trade buy soul man 16 dollars here you go this is for all of you guys that uh for all of you that call this a scam man look at this look at this look at this i'm about to i'm about to spend my money into this scam and with our $16 we're gonna get 12 cents of soul a dollar 49 for the fee buy now now you guys know what it is I got a double tap face ID come on now processing yes sir. it is done $16 of the day is going to go here we go, here we go. here's the three dots y'all know the infamous three dots your order there it is successfully purchased 0.1275 soul we're gonna go to done and now we're gonna go to home refresh the home screen and how much is our balance now we're averaging down really good by the way I just want to say that we are averaging down really good because we're, we're in investing one time a day at the end of the day and uh, it's just been going down every single day you can I mean it's not just Solana right XRP Ethereum Bitcoin is even down 10% so the whole market is crashing on the news that Russia said that they're going to ban cryptocurrencies uh, from being mined and traded in Russia so that is why there is a big dip happening right now uh, I'm not worried about it guys I'm not worried about it at all I have something special planned for tomorrow and Sunday hopefully it works out out. we're going to uh, be let's just say we're gonna be investing a little bit more money than we do during the week anyways thank you guys for watching here is my soul oh, wait how many soul do we actually have now do we have like uh, do we have 50 cents of soul Oh, we're so close. We have 0.449 cents of soul. So we're close, man. We're very, very close. I could literally, if I wanted to, I could literally buy one whole soul, man. But I'm doing this to show you guys that just a little bit of money every day. It ain't got to be a lot of money. Some days you can do, I mean, yesterday we did $31, right? Today we did 16. So it doesn't have to be a lot of money. Little by little, stack that money into whatever you want, man. You want to do stocks, you want to do bonds, you want to do crypto. Just little by little, man. And I'm telling you guys, in a year or two, man, you're going to be on a boat with a beautiful woman. I'm going home. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a good night.